Welcome to a short tutorial on how to benchmark your system using Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And a bit more into the video, a few tips and hints on how to increase your FPS quite a bit without losing too much of graphics quality. First off, you want to check the options and select screen. Make sure you have full screen selected, no FPS limit and no VSync. In addition, check if the resolution is correct. Usually it is either full HD, 1440p or 4K. The rationale behind that is comparability. On my system only Full HD can be chosen due to my old 144Hz monitor. Now you select the Graphics tab and check if you have the Ultra Quality selected. This is mainly for comparison's sake as I mentioned. No worries, after a quick rundown on the benchmark results I will give you a few hints on how to improve the FPS without sacrificing too much of the graphics beauty of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Please note that it could be necessary to restart the game to apply all changes you've just made to the graphics settings. Now it's finally time to launch the benchmark by simply clicking the benchmark button. You will now see a scene from within the game that takes you out of a temple and over a village filled with people and a small river within. During the benchmark the most essential information is being shown on the right hand side after you activated the HUD by pressing the F1 key on your keyboard. The FPS chart will be of most interest. In addition the CPU frame time and the GPU frame times are shown. Since Assassin's Creed Odyssey is still a very CPU intensive game, you will most likely see your CPU being maxed out or close to it. The achieved results are pretty straightforward. You can save them for later viewing by pressing the S key on your keyboard and have it stored in your Users and Documents folder. As usual, average FPS is given as well as the minimum and maximum. You can see that at ultra quality graphics settings my 4790K with the GTX 1080 is a whoopin 54 FPS. Still decent, but it can be improved. We recommend running the benchmark a couple of times to average out any anomalies. You can use your particular result and put it also into relation to the results on popular tech websites. Usually their benchmarks will be in ultra quality on full HD, 1440p or even 4K. A quick note on CPU frame times and GPU frame times, they are measured in milliseconds and in general the line should be flat to prevent stuttering, meaning and input lag from your CPU or GPU to your monitor. There's much more rocket science behind frame times obviously, but we cannot discuss this further in this video, so feel free to look it up online. Now for the most interesting part, how do you get more FPS out of Assassin's Creed Odyssey? A good middle ground between graphics quality and system performance is the high preset. If your system struggles further, I would advise you to lower the character texture and the overall textures to medium. If you're playing on a higher resolution, you will also barely notice any difference between having anti-aliasing activated or not. If your system is still struggling, I would recommend also lowering shadows and water. The neat thing about adjusting the graphic details is that a small image will be shown to you on the right hand side to roughly see the effect of said change. I could improve my FPS to 67 on average, which is an increase of roughly 24%. The game still looks very good and performs noticeably better. Obviously you will have the smoothest experience when playing with G-Sync or FreeSync on your monitor. So this is how you perform a benchmark with Assassin's Creed Odyssey in a nutshell and optimize your settings. Like this video if you liked it, subscribe to help the channel and we will see you in the next one.